There I'm going to be installing a YSS stage 2 shock. I uh, went ahead and stripped the bike down from the plastics. Please refer to the earlier video. And I'm going to show you how to get the uh, get everything ready to install the new shock. So come on down here. You got to take out these Allen heads, they're number five. Just hose the mud guard. You got to be able to get to the bolts. One up in the front, one in the back. And then there's one on the other side, and I'll show you. It's kind of an awkward place to get to. It's right here. And you barely have enough room to get in there if you come from the front like that. I went ahead and loosened it. And let me go ahead and get this last one out. Okay. It's out of the way. Now, you see this bolt here? You gotta take that one out and there's one up top. So come around the other side and I'll show you where we're at. Okay. If you look closely, You can't get to the top of the bolt because there is locking mechanism here. And it looks like the locking mechanism is held by a Phillips head and another Phillips head. So what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and take that loose. And then we can get to the top of the shock. Drop it down in there, that way it'll hold it. And one second here. Okay, now, get that down in there. Now you can see the top of the shock, and that looks like, let's see what that is. I think that's a 14. I lied, it's bigger than that. Let's try a 17. Okay, so that's a 17 up top. All right, let's break it loose. Okay, that one's good. Set it down to the side. You got one more down here. I'll be able to use an extension with that. Seventeen as well. Come on. Take that nut off. Remember, top nut and bottom nut. Now, before you before you take these bolts out of the shock, you need to alleviate some tension because this shock is holding the rear swing arm in its position. So, what I recommend is using a jack to jack up underneath it uh, just to take a little pressure off this so you can slide the ball out, okay? So give me one moment. All right, guys. So, trying to find a good 
jack spot here. got a little tension on it. It's kind of hard to jack it up with the uh, exhaust under there, so I'm going to give that a little tap see if we can push it out. Still got a little tension on it. take it out the top. Should just be able to push it through. Now the secret here is you want to take the bolt out just enough to get the new shock in there without taking it all the way out. the same so if you mix them up it's not going to hurt anything but as you can tell the stock shock is out now I'm going to take my aftermarket shock and I'm going to install it now when you go to install it you're going to have to mount it upside down just due to the design Push the inside of the box out of the way and slide it out. Okay, if you want to adjust it, all you got to do, you see that? That piece right there fits an Allen head. Loosen that. Okay, comes with this here. Loosen that. Turn it with the wrench here. And when you get the height that you like, tighten it. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. Real easy. Real easy process. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take my shock. Grab my top bolt. And I'm trying to slide it into place here. bike up now because I'm kind of having an issue. There we go. Okay. Take your top one, line up the hole. Okay. Push it all the way through. Got that one, now your bottom one. We're going to have to jack the bike up a little bit more because this one, the way that it's setting, is a little taller. So I'm going to have my assistant hold the bike so it doesn't fall. Alright. Let me see if I went up high enough. Go up a little bit more. One more. Okay. Almost. Okay, that's her. Okay. 
up the jack down. Okay. Take your two nuts. Go ahead and hand tie them. Top one, just hand tied it. Now I'm sure there's a torque spec for this. I don't have enough room to get my torque wrench in there with an extension, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tighten it. If I would guess, I'd probably say around 40, maybe 40 foot pound, but let's not guess, okay? Go ahead and start tightening it. <sighs> Bottom one's tight. Okay, now we're gonna do the top one. The extension. There you go. While you're doing that, make sure that yeah, the other side is not spinning. Okay. It's tight. All right, that is it, guys. The shock is in. This is a much higher quality shock. The stock shock bottoms out at around 175 pounds. Uh, this one's capable of supporting up to 375 pounds. Um, I do have these on sale right now. They're around uh, 185 shipped. So if you guys are interested, hit me up. I have a few left in stock. I uh, will get more. Red is the only color they naturally come in. If you want it in a different color, it has to be powder coated. So I would recommend get a, get a red one. And if you want it a different color, just have it powder coated a different color. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, just make sure you mount this back with your two screws. And then put all your plastics back on and you're good to go. All right. Thank you. Have a good one.